Halo designers. So what happens if you are in the middle of a project and you have to write something on Indic or regional language, but you are not able to make it on Illustrator and it's getting more complex, confusing, and it's a nightmare, right? Because your client is calling constantly and asking, what is the status of the design and you are not able to give a proper answer <laughs> so it's a nightmare for all designers i hope you all can read it so what's up everyone this is duology and welcome to my channel so today i'm going to talk about how to write in bengali or bangla on illustrator a for place kemon kore bangla illustrator e likhte hai ajke eta niye amra kotha bolbo so without any further ado let's jump into the topic today i'm going to talk about like how to actually type uh, in other languages or regional languages on illustrator okay so it's a quick thing so you can learn it in five minutes so let's get started so here as you can see like uh, i've already opened this uh, page like microsoft uh, and there are a few tools available like regional tools bengali gujarati hindi and other things okay so you can download the tool from here as i have already downloaded it i'm not doing it again so once you download it uh, you just go down here here as you can see ink or english you click here and you can see all the indic languages you have downloaded here okay so for the time being i'm not uh, this tutorial this particular video is for you know like bengali so i'm doing it uh, for this uh, bengali and in my next tutorial i will do the hindi part okay so for this i'm choosing bengali okay so now uh, i have to open illustrator so for this i'm using illustrator you know like 2015 cc okay so as i have already opened something so i'm i'm just doing it again so you just go to you just open illustrator go to file new okay and you can choose from here which orientation you like if you prefer this i'm prefer i prefer this one like this horizontal one so i'm choosing this okay and uh, here you can color mode you can choose cmyk if uh, you need it in print format or else you can choose it rgb and then click okay so here is a new document and next i will go to type tool so i will click on type and here what i will do initially okay uh first of all i will choose bangla from here okay the language let's check what happens here so there's a problem with this uh, microsoft indic tool uh if you type it in bengali okay so maybe it's uh, some specific font actually works for it okay but it will not work for every font okay i mean uh, as i'm doing this video particular video for bengali it will not work for every font as if you uh, i'm just showing you like here from here i'm choosing something just like that i'm choosing a particular font I'll just go to yeah this one kalpurush and see so i'm choosing this one okay and then i'm just making this a little bit bigger and i'm typing ami so i'll choose ami for this okay as you can see like this is by default choosing this balu the regular font and there is some problem with that because this uh you know like uh this is called ikar in bangla but the ikar is actually it, it should have come uh in front uh, uh, i mean before mo but it is actually coming after mo so it's, it's a wrong thing okay and this is a total nightmare <laughs> trust me you cannot do it like this so what i prefer is and every designer will prefer i think you should download avro keyboard okay so avro keyboard is something uh, you go to google and type avro keyboard it's an application also so you can get it in here avro keyboard okay so just go there 
and this is the software you have to download it here so as I have already downloaded this Avro keyboard I'm not downloading it so uh, I will just open the application here from here as you can see this is Avro keyboard okay so I'm clicking on this Avro keyboard okay and here here I have to uh, show you something okay so uh, after just launching this particular software you have to go to uh, I mean click on this part uh, this is all actually you have to click on all and you have to go to options and then global output and here by default it will be output as Unicode as it is uh, recommended here but uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to make it output as ANSI okay so now you will get a warning message or um, are you sure you want to type this ANSI mode so you will just uh, click use ANSI anyway okay and click apply okay now if I choose this Kalpurush ANSI uh, Kalpurush ANSI or maybe other font you can choose any font actually and this is the versatility of this particular application that you can use any font and uh, any Bengali font with this particular application and you will never face any problem with that and uh, it will be total stress-free work for you okay so this is very useful for every designer who wants to do it okay so now uh, if you just as I'm just looking for the Bengali font yeah Siam Rupali up I've got that okay so uh, after I get Siam Rupali you have to just uh, click on English and you will get Bangla okay now I will type Ami Bhalo Achi so Ami Bhalo Bhalo Achi okay now as you can see like this is Siam Rupali font but if you just choose this particular thing and you want to uh, change it to other font you actually do that you can do that here on directly okay but you cannot make uh, you you don't have that options or versatility with the Microsoft Indic tool okay because maybe a few font can work actually like uh, I, will, I'm, I will be making another tutorial on Hindi okay with Microsoft Indic tool and you will be able to know what happens actually so here I'm choosing this uh, another Bengali font so let me check where is it just a second yeah so I'm choosing this Kalpurush and see so as you can see that it has been changed okay so uh, and you can type anything here anything so it will just uh, be like stress-free thing and you will get it done in just as quickly as possible so that's one for today guys and if you like this video please please do not forget to subscribe comment and if you uh, if you have any particular suggestions for a better thing or uh, any better kind of application which can make it more easy for designers to do then you can recommend that too also so i hope you guys like it so if you like it please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends who might like it too and that's it for today so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye everyone